if you go down here, you have one kilometer to the sea, two to the forest, and three to the countryside. And we're sitting in the middle of the town. I, it, this is a, for the chef, it's this is the dream. In recent years, Danish cooking has catapulted into the world elite. Melling and Smith in Aarhus is one of the restaurants who have changed the gastronomic landscape by going back to basics. Because the idea is actually what is out there right now? How, how does the garden look? How does it feel? How does it smell? And how does it taste? This is the, the concept of this dessert, always to change it and let the garden decide how it looks, tastes. The breakthrough for Danish cuisine has been powered by Danish chefs who have rediscovered the taste of the Nordic nature. The, the, the balance between sunlight, cold and warmness and the opportunity for the, for the vegetable to grow slowly and to pick up minerals and develop taste and, and, and actually also the, the vegetables have to develop some, uh, they have to be strong to resist the cold and the warm. All this gives them texture and taste. But to make world-class food, you also need brand new methods of cooking. It's liquid nitrogen. It's, uh, it's become very popular in the kitchen. We've been using this for the last five years now. And it gives you the possibility to do like these very organic forms. And it's like a cream, like a cold vanilla cream um, with potatoes. So it's crispy like the first two, three bites, and then it gets ice cold and creamy like an ice cream. So it's like a crispy ice cream, actually. It has to look like uh, very, uh, like it's almost dropped on the dish, but it isn't. So this, so it gets this natural look. Some dishes are very straight, very straight lines, and, and some uh, have this organic touch to it. It's like regional Nordic cuisine with the with the with the, with the Jutlandic, uh, landscape, history, and, and and people being the inspiration. Uh, you cannot um, pass by a uh, passionate soul that makes vegetables without getting inspired. Uh, so you want to tell the story through food. So it's the smell, the taste, the touch, and the feeling of. of Denmark and for me Jutland because uh, I'm uh, living in Jutland.